One of the coolest space events of the year is happening right now, and most people don't even know about it. It's called the Aerated Meteor Shower, and it's super interesting. Imagine looking up at the sky and seeing bright streaks of light, meteors, shooting across the sky right before the sun comes up. That's the Aerated's, so here's the thing. Most meteor showers happen at night, and you just go outside, look up, and boom, you see shooting stars. But the Aerated's are a bit different. This one actually happens in the daytime, when the sun is up. That's kind of wild, but that also makes it really hard to see. Because once the sky gets bright, the little streaks of light just vanish in the sunlight. But don't worry, there's still a way to catch them. The best time to try spotting an Aerated is right before the sun rises, when the sky is still dark but just starting to get lighter. You gotta wake up super early, like around 3.30 or 4 in the morning. I know, I know, I'm, that's really early. But it's totally worth it if you want to catch one of the brightest daytime meteor showers ever. This shower is active from May 29th to June 17th, but the best days to watch it are around June 7th and 8th. That's when the meteor activity is strongest. On those mornings, if you're lucky, you might see up to 50, maybe even 200 meteors in just one hour. That's a lot of shooting stars. Scientists call this the zenithal hourly rate, which is just a fancy way of saying how many meteors could appear in the best possible sky conditions. But because it's a daytime meteor shower, we don't get those perfect conditions. So you probably won't see 200 meteors. You might only see one or a few or maybe none at all. It really depends on how dark your sky is, the weather, and how lucky you are. Even spotting just one fireball, that's a really bright meteor, can be amazing. It can light up the sky and leave a long glowing trail behind it. Now, you might be wondering, where do these meteors come from? Great question. Meteors are tiny bits of space rock or dust that hit Earth's atmosphere and burn up. For the Aerated's, scientists think they come from a comet called 96 P. Makeholtz. That's a real comet discovered back in 1986, and it might be part of something called the Machholtz complex, a group of comets, meteor showers, and even an asteroid, all connected. The Aerated's were first discovered way back in 1947 by scientists using radar. That's because during the day, you can't see meteors with your eyes, but radar can detect them. Since then, scientists have learned a lot about them, but there's still some mystery too. For example, we're not 100% sure where all the meteors come from. It could be that they broke off from the main comet long ago. Now let's talk about where to look. The meteors come from a spot in the sky near the constellation called Aries. That's why they're called Ariatids. Aries rises in the east just before dawn, so if you want to see them, go outside and face the eastern sky. The meteors will shoot up from the horizon and move in different directions, kind of like fireworks, but way cooler and from space. Now, if you're watching from somewhere like Huntsville, Alabama, or really anywhere with a clear view to the east, your best chance is between 3.30 and 4.30 a.m. on June 7th or 8th. You'll want to find a spot with a clear view of the horizon, if there are too many trees or buildings in the way, it'll be harder to spot anything. So here's what you do. Find a dark place, far away from city lights. A park, a field, or a hill will work. The darker, the better. You don't need a telescope or anything, just your eyes. Let your eyes get used to the dark for about 15 to 20 minutes. That means try not to look at your phone because the screen light messes up your night vision. Then just lay back, Look up at the sky and be patient. You might spot a bright streak, fast and silent, zipping across the sky. That's an Aerated. It only lasts a second or two, so don't blink. The Aerated's are this awesome, super active meteor shower that happens every year in early June. Most of the action happens during the day, but if you wake up early, like really early, you might catch a few of them before the sun comes up. Just look to the east, get away from bright lights, and bring some patience. Even if you only see one meteor, that's still something special. It's a little reminder that space is always doing cool stuff, even when we're asleep or not looking. And thanks for watching, and if you liked learning about the Aerated's, hit that like button and subscribe for more space stuff made super simple. See you next time.